Greetings, adventurers. Here we are with what will become the fourth episode in this mini series. Our uh, <laughs> somewhat wanton <laughs> researchers are uh, on the brink of starvation almost constantly, but thankfully, the rice harvest is well underway. So we're good. Hopefully, there might even be enough left over to feed our animals too so that uh, Disco and Bludenum do not starve, albeit they seem to be getting enough hay grass just in time. Uh, we have some visitors who've just arrived. They came in at the tail end of the last episode. Uh, and I'm trying to do a cheeky back-to-back. Uh, -back. Oh, critical risk. Okay, he's fine now. Uh, who's my social, by the way? Thankfully, not Dingley. Seven, nine, and one star. Okay, let's go with Fungly. Uh, come on out. Trade with uh, Peluso. See what Peluso has. Maybe they'll want to buy something off us. Maybe they'll buy a gr uh, any room for a grouchy leader. Any good good offers? Oh my goodness. Food. They have food. What could we sell? We could sell even some medicine. I don't know about the Panoxicillin. That seems like a new thing to me. Tech print for jump packs. Oh my god. Uh, we could sell... Oh my goodness. Our books are worth a lot of money. <sighs> what if I, I'm going to sell a little bit of medicine? I'm going to regret this. Uh, for a little bit of food. Okay. Let's go. Wow, they're actually... Oh, the, they actually bring it in and put it in our storage area. That's so cool. I have never seen that before. That's awesome. All right. There you go. That's gotten us out of that immediate uh, problem then. Perfect. Now, if you could just stop trying to chat out Fungly, that would be great. Okay, let's get some more cooking done, buddy. I need to, uh... I need to get this, uh... I need to get ahead of it, things here. Uh, and I'd like to get some anomaly thing done, but we'll see. We, we Last time out, we finished off the flooring of the refrigeration area and the uh, cooking and dining area. Got a full battery. I actually got, I'm going to deconstruct these now, I've changed my mind. Because it's kind of just weird that they sit there with that big X. I don't like it. Alright, let's go. Big rice harvest. I think now we are starting to turn that particular corner. I just hope that these turkeys can uh, feed themselves. Maybe I should extend the fence out a little bit and add some more food there. Major break risk. Okay, what's up, bud? So, oh, okay, and this is what we described uh, or discovered. Uh, there's no crafter. Wait, what? What? Who can I make my crafter? So you got seven. You got five. You got three. Oh, you are? You would be the crafter. Um. Huh. It's a crafter. I guess that might be one of our ideologies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they want gregarious shaft apparel. Okay, well, we're not able to make any apparel right now, so... Uh, let's have a look. Okay, crafting includes stone blocks. 
you got a nine, you got a seven, you got a five. I guess you could have a four in that. Like them running around inside my building with a knife out, but okay. He's wandering around our sad days now. <laughs> Everyone's got a schedule, right? Yeah, okay. So, um, how do I? Before I forget again, because I, I almost have again already. Uh, what's the deal with growing fungus zone? Growing zone. So, because I'm assuming in darkness, undercover somewhere, like damp. Let me just place a little area here and see if I can work this out. What could I grow here? Nutrifungus? Nutrifungus cannot live when exposed to light. Okay. I guess including artificial? So I actually need a dark area. Uh, let's see. Dark over here, yeah. I'm just going to do it as a test and see. Could I, um... Could I do that? It didn't give me the warning. Darkness. Zero, so... Okay, I'm just going to do this little one here as a test. And see how that works out. The visitors are leaving. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you for the food. Yeah, come if you could come around fairly often with some food, maybe at lower prices or as a gift. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry if our hospitality was bad, but we're really hungry. <laughs> Are you out of your funk yet? Mm, nope. rice just brought indoors here as much as possible at least when he gets out of his funk he can uh, cook up some oh cool it's actually picking out way more than I, the ones I clicked on that's how you'd want it to work fantastic he got the lot good job good job roughly roughly the carrier of all rice To get him to do some cooking until Dingley snaps out of it. So moaning because they want the fungi food. Okay. I really hope this is going to work out for us. Never tried growing that before, so we shall see. We do, however, have a lot of rice in the meantime is most pleasing. What are you doing? Just wandering around like an old sad sack outside. Come on, Dingley. Snap out of it. Come on. Think of the poor turkeys. They're hungry too. You don't see them outside. Having a sulk. 
Are you back in the game? Or back in the game? Consuming a meal. Oh no, you're not back in the game. You're still angry. You're still being a dingly. A little dingly wingly. Come on! Now you're being a sad sack because you ate raw food. What are you going to do now? You're going to go to bed, aren't you? Yep. Okay. It's going to take him a while to snap out of that by the looks of it. Can you cook? You can't cook. You can't really cook. You're not all that good either, but... I've got to get you on cooking duty. Prioritize hauling. Not assigned to cooking. Okay, wait, what? Mm, work, cook. Aha. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's hunting. Come on, you... It's twice you've done that now. In an absolute pinch. Okay, roughly. Kook. Go, go, gadget, roughly. Let's go. Now we're talking. Now we're quite literally cooking on gas. Well, all right. Wood fired stove, but. Need a meditation spot for Huevely. Ah, my bad. Do, do, do. Miscellaneous meditation spot for Huevely. There. There we go. Is that sorted out? Let's go cooking. Cooking for days. Hey, good job, Roughly. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, maybe that'll snap old Dingley's uh, head back into the game. Mm. Oh my god, this wood. I'm going to waste up here. Terrible. Put your book away, then I'm going to get you to start sowing the mushrooms. Should have paid attention to that earlier. Let's go. What? No. That's no. You're going to do the whole lot. Please, not half a job. Thank you. <laughs> I wish there was like a prioritize all of that job or something. All right. Okay. So that's a, that's a thing. Cool. So that'll start cheering them up. Oh, if this thing goes off. It's going to be terrifying. No, no, just don't think about it. Then it won't happen. Don't think about it. This hay is taking a long time to grow. Hmm. Maybe I should put them rice there as well. <laughs> a lot of floodwaters here too. 
Well, there we go, Fungli. Fungli's got our fung fungus going. Nice. What are you two on about? What's going on here? Oh, are you trying to calm them down? <sighs> Successfully calmed him down. Nice. Let's go. Spending some time alone. Oh. Okay. Go get yourself a simple meal, Dingley. And silly. Craft a role unfulfilled. Okay. You can assign someone uh, the craft and social tab. You can also select a ritual spot and alter to begin the role change. Okay. Um, so, craft a roll. Um, mm -mm -mm. Do I don't have a ritual spot yet? Miscellaneous uh, training spot. Wait. This is ideology ritual spot. I guess we could do it in the kitchen for now like the least worst room uh who's gonna be our crafter you've got the seven was it roughly no lovely you're our leader you can't be our leader and our crafter okay i guess fungly can be the crafter social uh assign role crafter a moral spiritual leader who leads rituals and personally counsels believer. The role becomes active when you faction a three. Circuitous. Comes an active when you only one. Okay. Oh, okay. They're good at social, so that makes sense. Yes. Begin this ritual. Let's go. Uh, okay, that's not creepy at all. Weird scarab beetle ritual. Okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely fully normal. Not creepy at all. Bugs crawling all over the kitchen. Yikes. <laughs> Didn't necessarily expect that. Music's cool, though. Oots, oots, oots. Where was my crafting spot? Didn't I have a crafting spot originally? And maybe I got rid of it? Was it? Un it was under a bush. Found it. Yes, successful roll change. Nice. Okay, that's that done. Fantastic. Now Fungli can start guiding the others in the errors of their ways. Perfect. Okay, let's get some, uh, what kind of stone is this? Granite blocks. I don't know if I should work on more flooring yet. What do I need to make the kibble? It's hay in any raw food, right? So like hay and rice. Yeah, okay. So that could actually be done. We could make some kibble for these animals. But I think they are feeding themselves. It's just very... It's its like just in time. So maybe that's not a th nothing we have to sweat about right now. Alright, we're up to eight meals as well. That's cool. Uh, maybe we can afford the, the flooring. 
I remember not to put any light there for the mushrooms. Maybe I put a door here and expand this out. That could be a good idea, actually. Structure. Uh, log wall, just because it looks cool. Not enough wood? Really? Oh, they didn't go and get it all yet. Okay. Structure. Oh, structure. Log wall. So much for the hunter lacks bow thing, but just in general, I'd like to have them all at least armed with something, even if it's kind of pathetic <laughs> or ineffective. I'd also, roughly, I'd also like to get that. Uh... Oh, really? We don't have the camel hide? I thought we had the camel hide. <gasps> no. But we need to use bear skin. Oh, it's a bear skin rug we're going to have. Right, okay. <laughs> bear bear. Uh -huh. Where was that? Was that miscellaneous? Yeah. Bear skin doormat. Like that. We need one there eventually. Let's have one there so that when they're coming in and out of that room. And then one there. Should probably put it outside the door really, shouldn't I? That could be smarter. I did put the door down there, yeah I did. Okay, great. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Now that we have the food sort of stabilizing. a good thing. Soon we'll have mushrooms for them. This is now fully dark. Okay, so hopefully they're not going to just complain about the dark. Oh no, that's covered that area over for the heating. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no bueno. No, it isn't because uh, yes, because this is indoors now. Oh, no bueno. Okay, so what we do is we are going to put one of these. I'm going to build a copy of that and put an embrasure over here. And that way it doesn't count as oh, uh, indoor space. Perfect. That's probably enough, actually. Even with the roof, that's probably enough to get rid of the heat. Hopefully. Because they, I've seen in here especially, they're doing a lot of time cleaning the floor and the refrigeration and that. You know, obviously, because we haven't got flooring in place, so we can eventually move the mats to like the front door area and stuff once we got that sorted. Oh, I'm so happy that we got the meals covered now. We might even be able to get back to our studies. Now, these ghouls that were hanging about, I'm curious. Oh, I made this corpse stockpile around this tree, yeah. What about that? Where are the ghouls? Are they still hanging about over here? It's so dark. Don't know. Is that another turkey? It is. <laughs> Let's tame that. Another female as well. Perfect. Oh, that would be perfect if we could start getting some eggs and some uh, bounce a wow wow in the barn. That'd be great. 
That's what we need. We need bow chicka wow wow in the barn. Oh, at least everybody's calming down now. My goodness. Yeah. Slept in the heat. Okay. So, what are they? Okay, it is warm. Because of this vent. Okay. We could think about adding some cooling in here. And some air vents. Or if I seal this off here. Or actually... No, what if we I could probably just do a simple one, like go straight across there or something. Then make this the hospital area. Like that idea. Still got that wood to collect. They should have their rooms uh, then stay a bit cooler, I think. It'll work. Uh, let's go wooden wall. Let's see. Can we just go straight across there? Like so. Okay. And then... Where am I? Here. We'll have that. Like so. Uh, then I want some single doors. Where are we? All the single door ladies. Like so. Like so. Like so. And then... We'll turn this into... Uh, Medical. Like so. Reinstall that over here. Make a copy of it. Have another one there. Another one there. Okay. Means we're going to need some more lights as well. Like so. We put one there. I like that it lets you put the uh, it lets you put the light on the wall now. Did I put a, a, a wall anywhere? Single door I did there. Okay. I like that it lets you put a, a light to be built on a wall that isn't present yet. I didn't used to do that, from what I recollect. You I could only put the wall the lights down. But I think that was when it was a separate mod. That's cool. All right, this is this is very calm. There's been no deaths. There's been no major emergencies. There's been a bit of wandering around in a daze. But overall, we also have more. We've extended the mushrooms. Nice. Okay, slowly, slowly. Uh, what we also will need is furniture. I want to have a little shelf uh, with medicine on it. So that's going to be clear all and then medicine. Medicine cabinet. Bionic stuff, I guess. Body parts just in general. Yeah. Okay, 
That'll do. Short bolt is made. Nice. That means Wivley can get his short bolt. Good quality. Which then means in turn that we've got everyone armed. What are we doing over here, animals? Okay, hungry again. No fuel. Okay, chop chop. It's really bright now. Let's go. Cool. So there's n not much light on this world in Grimoria. That's awesome. You really feel the difference when it's been so quiet for or so so uh, dark for so long. I mean, if there's a berry bush growing in here in the research room, we might as well harvest it. That makes no sense not to. Oh, we've almost got all the stone cutting done for now. That's good. That's granite. That's granite. All right, let's get a bit more flooring added in. Or actually maybe get them to catch up a little bit on their research. Where's Dingley? What are you up to, buddy? Oh, you're trying to get us another turkey? Come on, the turkey refused. Oh my god. He's not that good. Okay, go do some void study. Let's see if we can... I don't care, we'll take the risk. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but I feel like I can't go another episode without any more void study. What's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? I should build them a little bridge here. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. This might interrupt it if he gets hungry. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this is all starting to come together nicely now, I feel. It's getting a little bit more structure to it. Here we go. We've got a medical, another medical bed. Perfect. Oh, that is just a medical. Uh oh. Transport pod carrying a ravenous hostile ghoul has landed. Uh, it appears to be low, a previous member of your crew. Oh my goodness. It's currently in stock shock, but it will soon recover and attack anyone it sees. We captured to a holding platform for further study. <gasps> Capture or kill it. What? Okay. Fungly. Capture low. No rooms have the minimum containment strength for low. Oh. Minimum containment strength. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, goodness me. Oh, woe is low is me. Wait a minute. There's some steel going on here. What if we... I have a plan. I have a cunning plan. What if we structure uh, quickly? If we go to a granite wall... I think we can do this. I think we can get this done. So we want that and then uh okay we've got to claim all of this bit here claim uh i want to check the zone that it's put around there clear home area that's too much expand home area we're gonna cover that okay and then uh we want architect structure. I'm going to have a like this auto door ideal, but we don't have the bits for that anymore. So we want a granite door. It's going to move slow, probably right there. And then we're going to move the holding thing. We'll reinstall that over here. 
that might be that might be we might get away with that oh goodness oh i don't know if that's gonna work if we're oh snap oh snap quivly uh get to work here i need i need this done this is the priority now go 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 uh oh we've got the stud oh my goodness it's all kicking off. Oh, it's all escalated so quickly. Quickly. Yeah, let's go. Can I move this holding cell once? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Graft. Okay, hold on for a minute. Just guard, yeah. Can you, uh, wait. I undraft you, can I get you to prioritize moving that? No. Starvation. Oh, I've got to click up here, haven't I? So Fungly, prioritize moving the holding platform. Oh, I've left it right there. It's right in the middle of my base. This is a bad idea. A terrible, terrible idea. I've, I've, all of a sudden, I'm doing far too many things all at once. Uh, come on, let's let's go. We've got to work on this. Come on. What are you doing? Relaxing socially? No. No. There's no time for socializing. Or oh my goodness. Um, he's up and about. What does that mean? What, um, what, what does that mean? Is this here now? Is this, is that done? That's done. Okay. Uh, 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 um, fungly. Um, um, oh dear. Uh, uh, he's just gone crazy. Uh, draft. Uh, no, um, melee attack it, I guess. Um, the draft. Help. Don't shoot. Wibbly. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, wait, is he dead? Oh, snap! <sighs> okay, alright, fine. Oh, he had Ambrosia on him. And Flake. Not entirely sure what that is, but I suspect it might be something nefarious. All right, well, that's uh, that went well. Um, yeah, uh, I think that went. I think that's fine. It's a, it was a win-win-win. We got free stuff out of it and a dead body. Uh I guess we can't. <laughs> Do anything with it? Okay. Next time, we're prepared. I didn't know that was going to be... That's cool, though. That's very unfortunate. Now at least we have a strong enough room, I guess. Okay. Fine. That didn't work out how I wanted it to, but it's okay. At least we've got a containment room now. We can start building that out a little bit and make it into a bigger place. Dang, nabbit. That was unfortunate. What, what's happening here with the study? What have you... Have you discovered anything? Huh. Don't know. Is that is that helping my anomaly research? Oh, it is. Oh, we can study that. I think. Or is that moving? I don't know if that's moved. Hmm. No, because I think that means we have to study an actual, like a ghoul, for example. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's unfortunate timing. I end up having too many things on the go there all at once. Oh well. Poor lol. 
Will it just deteriorate if I leave it there? Yeah, okay. That's fine. It doesn't really bother them seeing a dead ghoul, unfortunately. I don't think so. Oh no, it is! Observed a corpse! <gasps> Sugar. Okay, let's let Dingley finish this round and see if this thing moves. Again, learning by doing. I do I suspect it won't, but Okay, here's the medical cabinet is now in play. Fantastic. Medical. Who's having heat stroke? Quivly. Oh, because of the Well, that's gonna be solved in a moment though. Okay, so this room indoors 40. 62 in there. Holy cow. Okay. So it's helping a little. We're getting there slowly, but when this door opens and closes, it's not helping. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see though. Venting the heat. So this is out. This counts as outdoors now. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. The mushrooms are growing. Okay. So that's good. So actually we could just put another cooler in here if we wanted to and vent between the rooms. I like that. Temperature. Uh... Do I need active cooling? Or do I just need a vent? Well, if I vent to the outdoors, that could go the other way wrong. Okay, let's have one of these over wall coolers like so and this is just going to be a 21 degree normal temperature all right let's you know slowly slowly again i'm really disappointed we couldn't capture that thing i wanted to see what that looked like bummer poor fwevely 31 degrees yeah because i noticed they're all saying they're sleeping in heat and uh Uh-oh. The Divine Order are raiding a group of disciples from Divine Order. Oh, no. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at them. Nobody expects the Divine Order. What are you? Are you any good at anything that I want? No, not really. You're just a Muppet. Oh, an abandoned sickly child, though. But a careful shooter. Heat inclined. Um, we can fit in. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Looks like this episode is. <laughs> I think I always worry, like in an hour episode, is there too little happening or whatever, and then just stuff just just keeps piling up. It is a little bit sad that we didn't get to uh, to capture and study that other ghoul. But that's okay. That means there's going to be presumably more of those as we go along. Interesting, I guess, because it's outdoors. That's why the lights are staying on. Yes, mushrooms. Let's go. I like these log walls, they're cool. And I got the picket fences. I got a few different things going on here. As usual, a bit of a mishmash of different uh, resources. Yeah, I could vent the heat out if it's way too much. I think we'll be okay for now. I also could have tried, I could have experimented with the vent there. Bolt goods trader. Okay. Well, watch out for the divine order, is all I can say. Jeez. What is this? 
Another dead tortoise. Who's going around murdering all these tortoise? Tor tor torti? Tor tortillas? Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're gonna survive this. Everybody's armed. Short bow, short bow, pump action shotgun, short bow. Okay. I didn't see what they had actually. So a careful shooter. One on their own. I don't know how tough these Divine Order are. I'm guessing because it's early on for our colony that they won't be like too bad. Because we're on Cassandra, but no, I don't know. Never underestimate my ability to bungle it. Disciples are beginning their assault. Okay, everybody. Uh, draft. And I want you in positions. Oh, I like the ghostly color thing there. It's awesome. That's really cool. Let's go. Bring it on. Here comes Chavez. Maybe they'll even kill him before. Sometimes the neutrals will, like, wipe out. I don't know if they're going to pick a fight with the divine. He's only got a sword. He's coming in with a sword. I wouldn't mind taking that sword. Is he going to murder these visitors? No, they are shooting at him, though. Nice. He's attacking their, uh, their bulls. Oh, my goodness. They are also attacking one of their bulls. Oh, they're crawling away. That's one of the new features. Um, finish him off. Go, Fungli. Everybody back to work. Don't let them get away, this stinking divine order. Finish them off. Grab it. <laughs> it's stinking divine order. I'm going to get this sword. Yes. And some gold. Beautiful. Can even trade that maybe straight away. Let's go. Get wrecked. And then they can be taken to the, uh, to the other corpse pile, right? So actually I should delete that pile and then have Fungli, uh, too heavy. Okay. Undraft. Uh, strip. Uh, meanwhile, oh, you're my good, uh, oh, you need a meal first. Okay. Let's let you eat and then we'll bring you out here and trade with them. Your health is fine. All my guys are fine. Not so good that there's a dead body there. Can we get that hold? Fungly's been set to that, okay. You're feeding my simple vegetarian meals to the... Okay, has life-threatening malnutrition. Okay, okay, so I take it back. It's fine. Reasonable. Oh, God. And you're going to go and feed that to the, uh, to the corpse tree, right? Yes! Oh, excellent. That's the first time we're seeing that. Let's go! Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Poor old lol. <laughs> uh, now I want you to get rid of this one. Actually, first of all, strip it. Might be some good clothing. Okay. Cargo pods. Uh, oh, snap. What? Devil Strand, allow that. Yes. 
I've never had that before. Okay, that's cool. Lots of mechanoid chunks down there as well. Okay, that's an uh, will be a quick route there, but otherwise it's gonna be a long way around yeah. Ha! We are feeding this tree. I think. Create corpse stockpile. Create a dumping stockpile zone around the harbinger tree for corpses. Oh, consume nearby corpses and raw meat. If well fed, the tree will go faster and create new harbinger. Yeah, okay, it is. Oh my goodness, look at it. <gasps> it spawned these like root tentacle things and it's eating the bodies. Oh, wow. That is terrifying, but also kind of cool. Freaky. Eating a simple meal to disco. Okay. There aren't too many. I mean, this is high class cuisine that we're giving disco and Blutnum. Hmm. Only the best for my mods, though. Don't let it be said that I don't tend to the mods. Okay, I need you to uh, trade with these guys, though, before they go. You can also preach health. <laughs> Okay, Gwyn or Gwyn. Okay, we got very lucky there with the timing. I think we could have taken that sword, that Chavez with the sword out. Nevertheless, it's very convenient that he came running past what looks to be an incredibly well-armed group. They would buy Blutinum off me for 35? Sold. Wait, they would sell me a duck for 75? Oh, they have, look, they have cows and stuff. Um, wait, they have goldfish? I want goldfish now. What about, I just found some, uh, stuff. Where's the gold that I just brought in? They don't want the gold. Hmm, that's disappointing. They have chocolate. Um, I don't have anything to sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could sell all my clothing bits. Huh. That sucks. Well. I guess we'll keep it for now. That's unfortunate. Where's that gold? Did that not get into storage yet, maybe? I think that was the that was it probably. Silver times four. Got a sword. Who would be good with a sword? A melee. One to oh four to oh. Nine. Oh my goodness. Twelve. You ledge. Uh, equip the sword as a sidearm. Yes. There we go. No, he doesn't lack a suitable weapon. He's got a suitable weapon. He's just picked out the sword for some reason. There we go. Low food. Okay. Well, that's better than no food. Oh, I'd love to get some of the cows and stuff. Maybe not this one that's bleeding out. Should I heal their cow? I can't. It's not mine. Okay. Maybe. Oh, we haven't picked this up yet. Okay, let's go get this uh, stuff here. Oh, all urgently, please. I 
could probably open the door and let my animals walk around a little bit and then they'd come and get grass and stuff, right? Hmm. That might be a good idea. Or just extend this fence out. Like so. straight from here the security secure area into there will make more sense okay we've brought that other stuff in now oh, we got the two ambrels here as well there we go and the gold okay fungly come and have another chat with Gwyn and see even if we don't want to buy any of their things we might be able to uh, sell some other stuff to them she needs a rest as well though before they go, I bet they're going soon. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, okay. So now... Ambrosia, sell. That's 20, yes, flake. I don't need that, sell that. And... Gold. Sell that. Yes, that's 100, that's worth 100, okay. Cool. So, and in return, granite profane throughout. Yeah, sell me that for 3095 of roulette table, dodge board. Now we're talking. Hang on, don't side quest. No, so no trade side quests right now. Oh, we just don't have enough to get the cow. Oh, so want to get the cow. Oh, now I could sell the bit of... Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> and then we could get milk from the cow. I think that's a good idea. I don't have any way to get the bull as well, though. <clears throat> Let's have a cow. Why not? Actually, I'll keep the bear leather. I'll sell the light leather. Okay. Let's take the cow. And hope this isn't a horrible mistake. Bang. Uh, cow has started to roam away. Uh, cow. Oh, cow is the one that was, that was injured as well. Um, Dingley. Prioritize roping the cow. This should be big enough. This should this should work. We should be able to bring it into the pen. We also need to heal the cow. Uh, so let's make this a medical bed. All right. Viper count. <laughs> Wonderful. This is going very, very well. Assuming I can get it healed. <clears throat> can we tend to it? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on, Dingley. Don't do half a job here and let the cow... Oh, look at the turkeys are like... Hello there, welcome in. The mods all just came and welcomed Viper into the gang. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Gunshot. Look, it was hit by two gun <laughs> They did more damage to it than the... Than the blooming divine order guy with the sword. Although he did quite a lot of damage as well by the looks of it. 
Okay, awesome. We have a cow. All right, let's get this bandaging done. And that's going to make for another great episode. Episode four. Don't milk it. Excellent. Okay, still bleeding out, but... Dark visions. Fungly? Fungly's become overwhelmed with horrible visions, rambling about things that only she can see. She will snap out of it in a few hours. She's in a poor mood because she's tired. Oh. What were you doing? What were you doing? I don't know what you were doing up there, young lady. Ah. Oh, can't help. You can't help some people. Can't help some people. Come on, let's make sure Viper's not bleeding out and then we can call that a wrap for episode four. We think we might call this episode Almost a Rescue. Almost. Fungly's dark visions have stopped. Nice. Perfect. Viper is now stabilized. And is now just getting additional medical care. Although there is still some bleeding, so... And we have our first egg. <gasps> we have our first fertilized as well. Fertilized mod turkey egg. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, things couldn't have gone much better in the on the animal front, really, I guess. Good bit of trading done. Improved relationships with these people. Fought off our first divine order. Maybe I call this episode Divine Milk. I'll have a think about it. All right. That's going to do it for this one, though. I think things are starting to really come together. I know I've said this a few times, and sometimes it's just to encourage myself. But I, I feel like we're getting there. The trade caravans... Oh, God. Beep, beep. And it makes me worry that something really bad has happened. Yep. Well, we have Viper Cow... This gone Blutinum welcomed Viper Cow into the fold. We're in the process of extending the barn area. I guess the animals are going to starve even quicker now. But we'll get that. We'll, we'll, we'll work something out there. We'll get something done. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one as well. Thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And if you made it all the way through... Uh, I appreciate you in any case. Good vibes, everybody. Peace and love, and I'll catch you in the next one.